Hi everyone, this is Steve with Still City Parkour. Happy April Fools, and today we are learning how to backfool. All right, to learn this version of the backfool at home, you will need a trampoline. Also, it definitely helps if you know how to backflip or back layout, but believe it or not, it's actually not 100% necessary. What's more important for doing the backfool is how to do a front flip and a front half. All right, let's get into it. Before we get right into the back full, let's first go over a front half really quickly because uh, this is going to be important that we are twisting the same way on our front flips and our back flip. So when I do my front half, I am turning to the left, which means my left shoulder is moving backwards, which means my front half is going to look like this. Front half, okay? We also need to make sure that our back flip is going to twist the same direction. If I start my back flip trying to twist over my right shoulder, once I get into the front flip portion, I'm gonna open back up and twist back against it. So I wanna make sure that whatever way I back twist, I am front twisting as well and vice versa. All right, now that we know which way we are front twisting and back twisting, making sure they're the same way, we can get started learning the full. So step one is I wanna stand like I'm going to do a back flip. From here, I want to lift my arms up above my head and I want to look under my armpit, not over. If I'm looking over like this, I'm probably just going to do a sideways back flip when I try the full. What I want to do is I want to look under so I can see the trampoline. My feet are still facing forwards and from right here, I'm going to do a roll towards the wall. My feet do not turn before I leave. Just like that. We don't want it to look like this where I just jump, turn, and then do a roll. That's not teaching me anything. I wanna make sure my feet are facing forwards on takeoff. As we get comfortable jumping, turning, and doing the roll, we can start to lift our arms up and turn at the same time. So I'm lifting my arms up, turning at the same time, and then right from here, it should start to feel like a front flip. My arms are already up just like I do a front flip, so I'm gonna lift them up, and then down. Make sure that you're facing straight ahead this way. I don't want to be tilted this way. So a lot of people will end up doing this. They lift their arms up and then they front flip that way. We don't want to do this. Once again, that's not going to teach us how to do a back full. It's just going to teach us how to do a sideways front flip. So we want to make sure we're going up, turn, and now I'm facing straight that way. All right, now my next goal is to try to land the front flip. So I'm thinking in the air, jump, turn, front flip. Once you have landed this, this is actually a skill, it's called an Arabian. Uh, so it's really useful skill, and you kind of learn it as you learn the full. So I'm thinking jump, turn, front flip. I should be able to see the trampoline before I pull the front top. So it's here, jump, turn, front, just like that. All right, now, once I have mastered the jump, turn, front flip, or the Arabian, when I land it, I wanna to try to keep twisting. So this is where it's important that I keep going the direction my shoulder was dropping. So if I'm standing here, I was going over this shoulder. So when I land my Arabian, I need to think this shoulder is gonna keep going. So now I'm gonna do that Arabian, and at the last second, I'm gonna to try to turn and face that wall over there. The way that I'm turning is I'm just using my shoulders and my hips. So I'm thinking jump, turn front, and then twist a little. So I go, jump, turn, front, twist a little bit more. Now my hips are this way, and I'm really close to getting that back full. As we start to work on these, the nice thing is, if we make a mistake doing it this way, the worst thing that can happen to me is I land on my side. So if I get freaked out at any point, or I lose where I'm at in the air, this is worst case scenario. I got lost. I just land on my side. Now that I have mastered turning my Arabian just a little bit more, I can commit to doing the full. Now, there's a couple ways you can think of it. You can keep thinking the same way, just keep turning more and more and work your way until you're forward, or you can think of it as jump, turn, front, half. So as I said at the beginning of the video, it helps if we know how to do a front half and we're twisting the same direction. So for this one here, I'm gonna think jump, turn, front, half. Jump, turn, front, half. 
Now, as you saw in there, as I jumped in turn, I did a front flip where I tuck, and then I open and spun. Uh, the other way that we can think of it is jump, turn, front, and then keep the shoulders twisting across. That one's gonna look a little bit more uh, connected and it's not gonna look like it's in parts. That one's gonna look like this. Jump, turn, front, twist more. That one there is more of the ultimate goal, but it's definitely helpful when you're learning it to do jump, turn, front, half. And the way that you connect it is by not tucking when you go for the front flip. So whenever I'm doing this step, jump, turn, front, I don't tuck and I just keep pulling my arms across. All right, now let's talk about some common mistakes that people make. The most common mistake is people try to do a layout and then twist. If I'm doing a layout and I try twisting right at the end, the most I can get is a half turn. So I see a lot of people that have been in gymnastics cheer for a long time and they can only get this far. If I'm waiting really long to turn, it feels nothing like a full. When I'm doing my full, it's almost easier for me to do a full than a backflip because I can turn and spot really early. Now, I understand that the full that I just did does not look like a gymnastics full. It's more like a snowboarding or uh, a tricking full. If I want to get it more like gymnastics, I just have to change my shoulder position slightly. So instead of looking over right away, I can start to lift my arms up even higher first. The higher you lift your arms up and the longer that you set and keep going up, uh, that's going to make your full more and more straight over and more and more gymnastics like, which I will demonstrate. I'm going to go over the steps one more time, just really quickly. That way, if you're getting stuck anywhere, you don't have to keep rewatching the video. It's all going to be right here at the end. So step one, jump, turn, roll. All right. Step two, jump, turn, front flip. Jump, turn, front flip. All right. Step three, jump, turn, front half. Jump, turn, front half. If you have mastered the back full, you can try to add some more twists to it. Or an even harder challenge, in my opinion, is to try and twist the opposite direction. So I'll demonstrate mine. As you can see, I'm not as comfortable with this direction. And you'll see I do the same exact steps to learn my opposite way. Uh, and you'll see mine is definitely not as good, but it's still an opposite twist. So I hope everyone at home can learn how to do a back full and maybe even learn to twist your opposite direction as well. Let us know how you do. You can tag us on Instagram at Steel City Parkour Gym and show us your progressions and how well you're doing. Thanks everyone. Stay safe.